Yeah, I do a lot of people's first, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's on. I'm about to start. You good? Hey y'all, this is Galleria. We're here in the place to be with WLC Rod. What's up with y'all? All right. So it's Monday. How are you feeling today? I just got off of work. Mm -hmm. I work for kids. Oh, work for kids. I'm tired. Oh, they draining. Uh, <laughs> this, this is one little boy who would not sit down. <laughs> he would not sit down. And what do you do with the kids? I work at Rules of Health Recreation for real, so it's Oh, time, so. okay, so they outside. Yeah, they ain't on the trips now. Yeah. Like, That's really cool. That's what's up. Yeah, but it's cool. I like my job. Yeah. Kids, it's just bad. <laughs> it's bad. I used to work with teens, but they done. So oh, okay. Like baby. Yeah. They got so much energy. And they I outside. bet you they sleep right now. They definitely sleep. Yeah, that's what the summer do. You bring them outside and knock them out. Right. <laughs> So, I'm glad to have you here. Um, as we just discussed, I met you at uh, Stokey's event where he had artists come in and perform on the lot across from the deli. Right. And you did such an amazing job performing. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I remember the DJ made you go back and do it again. Nah, that was Stokey. Stokey made you go back and yeah, do it again? <laughs> so, I thought, yeah, mind you. I'm always nervous. Mm -hmm. So, yo, I'm doing my song. Boom, 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 boom. And yo say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to start that over. Oh, my and goodness. So like, yeah, so I'm, I'm doing the song. I stop. I'm thinking he's stopping the song. I ain't do everybody else. So I can keep going. Yeah. And do the song over again. I mean... Yeah. It was definitely like... And I remember when you came out, and I was... I think I was standing next to my friend Speedy. <laughs> And you was going, you had started, and when he was like stood over, everybody was like, "Okay, cool," because everybody could get their phones out. Yeah. They were ready for you. Like, what was that feeling like performing just in that kind of environment where it was kind of unorthodox? It was not traditional, like as far as a performance. That was my second time performing for real. Mm -hmm. My first performance was down in South Carolina. And really? Yeah. Wow. How, like, what was that for? Oh, it was the same thing I still did. Okay. It was Really, it was the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. And I performed on Sean Merlin and down there, you know, they country down there, and they mm -hmm. like all that, that gutter type stuff. Yeah. So they was feeling that down there, but up here, I ain't really lie, I did not, I did not know what to expect. Really? I did not know what to expect when I was performing that song. I was, I was scared. I didn't even lie to you. <laughs> and you had somebody with you too. You had Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, no, you killed that performance. Um, the song itself, Dead End, is definitely like... I feel like people... Artists have things to say, mm -hmm. but um, a lot of the times when they make songs, it, it can be a little... They start talking and we stop listening. I feel like with Dead End, oh, you wanna, everybody wants to hear what you have to say from beginning to end. So talk about that single itself, too. I ain't... That song... I make mean, songs based off of how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. So that was just how I was feeling at that time. Mm -hmm. And I went to go record it. Yeah. <laughs> it took a life of its own. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's all that. It's like every time I step in the studio, I don't know about other people, but I feel like I got up to ego. So, mm -hmm. so if I, once I go record, I zone everything out. Mm -hmm. Like everything, and like I become WLC Rod instead of Rod. Okay, I got see, you. See, you talking to Rodney right now? Yeah. Sure. WLC Rod. I don't want to be bothered while I'm recording. I don't want to. I don't want none of that. Mm -hmm. Like you, I don't mind people being in the studio with me, mm -hmm. but just don't talk to me. <laughs> okay. Do you feel like that having that feeling is only when you're literally standing in the booth, or like during playback? Do you want feedback, or is it just you the whole time? On playback, yeah, I want feedback. But when I'm in a booth, just leave me alone. Mm -hmm. um, because what I got in mind, it may be cool for me right. until I hear it. And then I take feedback. I'm like, oh, yeah, do this part over, do that part over. Because I got to hear the song. Once I'm yeah. the song, I got to re-listen to it. I got to take a day to re-listen to it. Then I go back and okay. fix whatever it is that, I, that need to be fixed. Mm -hmm. Do you write or do you um, just punch in or do you do both? I write. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. I ain't. I, I 
punched that one time. That was when I first, first started. Mm-hmm. I was just starting. And I ain't really lie. The song was cool because I wrote most of it. But then I couldn't think of nothing else to mm-hmm. write. So then I just started doing whatever it was on the time. Okay. It's a good idea. Um, excuse me. How long have you, from what I've seen, just from your social media, YouTube, you started dropping music in 2020. But when did you really start making songs? 2020. Oh, okay. That was when I first started. When did you, de- like, what made you decide, like, yeah, I want to do music? How did you know you was hard? I, I, I was in high school. I would write a song. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'd let my man, my man's Nelly, I know, mm-hmm. I'd let you hear it. And he said, yo, you hard, yo, you hard. <laughs> you, know, you know how people yeah. hear it. They'll tell you you hard because they're your man. But I'm not really taking it serious. Mm-hmm. I used to play basketball. Oh, I wow. care about rapping. Yeah. So, then 2020 hit. I didn't really lie. I was in a little puppy relationship and all that. <laughs> and then that's when everything just came out mm-hmm. and, i mean for me it took me it took my first heartbreak for me to for you to actually yeah. put yourself into it yeah oh wow what high school did you go to did you oh okay what school you went to i went to western oh. <laughs> so that's why i ask <laughs> that's cool so in between 2020 and now what do you feel like if you could talk to your 2020 self when you drop that music what would you tell yourself would you change anything what kind of advice would you give like I wouldn't change nothing. I, yeah, I wouldn't change nothing. Mm-hmm. I just tell myself to be more consistent and read more. Hmm. Why would you say read more? Like I stopped reading recently too. Mm-hmm. But like, I right, so twenty twenty. I'm two years. I'm fresh out of high school, mm-hmm. so my mind's still fresh on on these big words. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So right now, me right now. I probably, I don't even use those words like I was using them before, which I need I to see start what you mean. going again. You feel what I'm saying? So, I, that, that reading, I continue to read and mm-hmm. to be more consistent. Got and it. Drive. And you feel like that helps your music when you're writing, too. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, who are you listening to right now? Like, in general? Yeah, just in general. Old, I new, red. a lot of people. Mm-hmm. I might listen to YB. Yeah. You know, but... I ain't really lie. I like listening to Adele and Alicia Keys. Okay. That's a vibe. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Uh, I only like one song. What's who? Uh, G- Gibeon. Oh, Gibeon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like my song. Mm-hmm. Uh, I forgot how one. Mm-hmm. I need more than that. I don't know. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't think right <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll figure it out later. Yeah. But that's cool. Give me on is cool. I like him. I like, yeah, I like this and people that. Sometimes I like rap, but sometimes I want to chill. Yeah, you want both. You want the mix. That's how I am. Yeah. I'm listening to you as much R&B as I am trap. Mm-hmm. So, that's cool. Do you feel like um, you were musically influenced at all when you were a kid? Like, do you feel like your family, the people you were around, friends, influenced you musically? No, nah, well... I used to play the trumpet when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so I, it, it, it was always there. I probably just didn't yeah. pay no mind. Right. But I, I was really nice with the trumpet. That's though. what's up. Like, really <laughs> tech with the trumpet. Like, I was first chair That's trumpet cool. Player. People don't play instruments anymore. Yeah. I, so I wanted to play the drums. Mm-hmm. I used to drum line my family movie. Mm-hmm. Me too. So Me I wanted too. to play the drums, but yo, yo was talking about something. I got to. You all listen. Yeah. Drum, what, do People that. don't realize the drums are very technical. Like mm-hmm. when you had to learn, because we used to tap on like we, we tap on stuff all day long, and right. we can create rhythms. But when you had to do it professionally, it's it's technical. It, it can be it can be challenging. That's why I gave it up. Gave <laughs> me the trumpet. I took the trumpet. I was really nice on the trumpet though. I took dude. I ain't gonna say his name, but <laughs> I'm not. I ain't gonna say his name, but. He was first chair trumpet. It took me a week to learn how to play. And you t- you almost got first chair or you got no, first chair? I was chair? first chair. And oh, I quit. Okay. I quit playing trumpet because I, I wanted to go to the gym. Mm-hmm. 19 years mm-hmm. old, I wanted to play football and basketball. Yeah. Then I got back into the band. Mm-hmm. And I was the first chair again. Wow. So music was definitely always there. Yeah, it was yeah. always there. Mm-hmm. I just didn't pay no mind. I, no. Cool. If you had to choose anybody, like dead or alive, to work with, who would you choose 
Like, if you had a song and they was going to give you a feature, guaranteed, zero dollars. Lil Scooter. Mm-hmm. That was my favorite rapper when I was, like, 14, 15, wow. 16. When he died, I, when he died, I was in Ohio when he died. Mm. At a basketball camp. That's crazy. I'm sitting here thinking about my, like, I feel like, because when, when I went to, after I left Western, I moved to the county. So some things I was out of the loop on, music, mm-hmm. music-wise. And that's when I, like, it wasn't until he passed away, I was like, dang, I really loved his music. Like, I was listening to it, not even paying attention how much I enjoyed it until he passed. Everybody and when he passed, did. it was so sad. Like, I remember the day. Yeah, I remember the day. I remember the day. It the was, day was so sad. Was it was in June. I remember where I was at that day. I remember I, that whole thing. I was like, dang. I felt like the city was really sad. I hurt those. Bro, that took the soul out of the city. Mm-hmm. Because he was the heart and soul of the mm-hmm. city. Because you, you had Scooter and Moose. And see, our generation of music from here, mm-hmm. it was crazy. Mm-hmm. When you had Scooter and Moose, Dave Rowe, and you had Stack. That, that year, that 2015, 2016, that, yeah, like. It was, they had like a, a 14, like a two, three year stretch. Mm-hmm. And they just had the whole city in a chokehold. Absolutely. And that, I feel like we never really had that. It's, I mean, mostly like on the red tip. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I, it's coming back. It's coming now. back now. So Definitely. Got, it's a lot of people that's nice. Yeah. And they getting it. I feel like they getting it due. They starting to. Right. Yeah. I, I feel like Baltimore as a whole getting a dude. Mm-hmm. Baltimore TikTok went crazy right now. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. Baltimore funny. This we shit, are. Bro, like. I was thinking about, like, everything that's going crazy on TikTok now. Like, when I was in middle school and stuff like that, that was our norm. Like, how are you saying? Like, we funny now. It's funny to watch it now. Yeah. But I remember back then, like, when we first started getting nicer phones and digital cameras mm-hmm. and. Like me knowing what to type in YouTube to watch Baltimore videos. It's like now it's blowing up on TikTok. It's like we could, probably could have been blew yeah. up off this stuff. Nah, yeah, TikTok was back in like 2012. Yeah, mm-hmm. Baltimore definitely would have been on. Absolutely. Because everybody like Baltimore. Do you think so? I feel like just from listening to you, you've traveled outside of the state for for a few different things. Do you feel like everybody really likes Baltimore? Yeah, I feel like everybody like Baltimore. All right, look, when you go out of town mm-hmm. and they know you from Baltimore, they tell you, say, too, they tell you, you all <laughs> but that means they really like you. I heard that from somebody in the studio mm-hmm. the other night. Mike Beasy, to be exact. That's my, that's my producer. Okay. So, yeah, mm-hmm. they really like you, and I, I agree with that. Mm. I'm sitting here thinking if I agree with that. I don't know. I do, <laughs> but in the moment, I'm sensitive, so I feel like you're trying to come at me. Or come for me or come for my city. No, I mean I don't feel that way. Mm-hmm. I'm a dude though. Yeah. So they tell me say too. Me, I know females like <laughs> they like dudes from Baltimore because Baltimore like is on country. Like, it really is. Like, it really is. I don't mean to, I don't mean to be mean, but we got fiends <laughs> famous. Like the fiends are famous here. So I don't That's there's no fair. other city doing that. Absolutely. Talk about White Lock. Um, my perspective is skewed because I'm from East Side, and I didn't know anything about White. Like I knew, I heard of it, I knew where it was, but I didn't realize how much of y'all own culture and community y'all have in that neighborhood alone until I got older and started having to go there more often. So talk about White Lock. When I was younger, I used to. <laughs> 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 it was when I, was, I was a baby. Mm-hmm. I lived in like what? I mean, I was living around there. About like what? Five? Four? Three. Three? Yeah. My first house was at the bottom. of the bottom of Brookfield, right? That's, that's, that's the right there. Like, as soon as you, right, you see the reservoir. Right. You see the reservoir. You see the reservoir. And then I moved around the corner on Chauncey. <laughs> right, that's, that's, the, that's the second house. Wow. And then from there, I moved. I moved right there at the bottom of Brookfield right before you hit Cala. Okay. And I moved right there. And I was right there for like two like two years. Mm-hmm. And then, but, I see that, like, I was with my grandmother. Like, mm-hmm. So my grandmother, she had me. I named Bernice, rest in peace with my grandmother. God bless the day. And 
I was what you yeah, I was by inside. Like, yeah. Old dog, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't ashamed to say it. My grandmama was a fiend. Mm -hmm. But everybody loved my grandmama. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, yeah. Everybody, <laughs> loved, everybody loved my grandmother. So, and everybody knew me because of because my grandmother. Because I was always with her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you you say you used to hoop. Yeah. All right, talk about that. You hoop in, in White Lives and Coach Rod. Oh, we played BNBL. We played up uh, Mount Royal. All right, my first game. I had my first breakout game on Mount Royal. You know what a breakout <laughs> game is, right? No, what's a breakout game? Basically, when you, when you lose your training wheels. Oh goodness! So they just like, throw you out there. Like no, nah, like all right. Don't you know when you ride a you, you don't know how to ride a bike. Yeah. And then you take your training wheels off, and then eventually you you learn how to ride yeah. a bike. You ride the bike real real good. Mhm. Mm so that's what happened. Okay. First, my first breakout game was in uh, Mount Royal, and we were playing against Chick Lab. A lot of you not, I probably had about six, probably ten steals. Oh wow. Like ten steals. I don't know how much I had because I, I was. I was and how old were you? I don't know, like five six. I don't remember. I don't remember how much I had. That's crazy. But I do remember that we won that game. Mm -hmm. Who trained you at that point? Was it the coach? Yeah, but some of the stuff I was teaching myself. Oh, okay. Am I wrong? I was teaching myself. So you myself. had it. Yeah, but I think you start losing the love for the game. Mm -hmm. I started losing the love for the game in my junior year. Mm -hmm. That's when I transferred to digital. Mm -hmm. I went to Grand Street at first. Okay. And when I was in Grand Street, I started varsity my first year. Well, my first two years. Wow. My first two years, uh... My second year, I was 25 a game. Mm -hmm. But then I transferred to digital. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I wasn't really doing nothing. But I was losing the love for the game. I didn't play my senior year because I tore my ACL. Oh, wow. How was it like recovering from that? I feel like that is so traumatic. I'll never forget. It was uh, it was a girls basketball game. And this they, we played against Dumbo. And that was always like our biggest game at Western. Mm -hmm. the, us playing against Dumbo was like just always crazy. And my friend who was on the team, she tore her ACL. And it was like the whole gym was like, <gasps> like, it was like, a, no, for Western. So how was it when it happened to you? And how did you recover? What was it like getting back? And did you even pick up, you know, basketball again afterwards? When I tore it, I tore my ACL in practice. Mm -hmm. So this is just me being dumb. Prior to me tying my ACL, I, I extended my knee in gym. Mm. Plan somebody one on one for some money, which I shouldn't have been <laughs> doing. But I ain't even get the money out of it. Like, I, I hurt, oh, no, I hurt no, myself. You were supposed to at least get the money. I hurt myself. I couldn't even walk. Mm -hmm. So then it was practice. Mm -hmm. Mind you, dude, like six six. Hey, Marcus. Oh, six six. I'm God. Somebody six six. Mind you, I'm here. I'm like five. I'm the same. Like five right. three. Five, whatever. <laughs> so I'm gone. I'm boom, boom. I let my pride get to the side. I started fouling him and all that. And then I came down. When I came down, my knee popped. Oh, like no. I heard the pop and it hurt so bad. But the whole gym heard that my mm. knee popped. And it's like, like you said, I remember like, right. that's exactly what happened. Coach ended practice after that. I would have ended practice too. <laughs> but when I when it happened, I knew I tore my ACL. You knew it, yeah. I, I didn't even realize nobody knew this. I was kind of happy when I tore my ACL. Why? I didn't want to play basketball no more. Mm. I got tired of playing basketball. But with Colin, it was cool. I mean, I was walking around the school. I got my mm. surgery in January. Mm. My birthday month. I got my surgery <laughs> January. Like it was January the fifth or something. Mm -hmm. like, January 5th? I must say to be January 5th. And I was homeschooled for like three weeks. Oh, I wow. Said, yeah, said, you was loving that, though. No, I was not loving it. I'm, I'm on a, I was on a game every night. Um, no, no, I, bro, they didn't even come give me my work. I that's just, crazy. I was just home. <laughs> like, like, I lied to you not. I had a hundred in one of my Spanish classes. I don't speak Spanish. I was cheating. <laughs> but I had a hundred in my Spanish class, but I ended with a 70. It was the midterm. Oh, I, I couldn't take my midterm test. That is midterm time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I went back to school. Right. I went back to school on my birthday. January 31st. 
Mm. So what the you're an Aquarius. Yeah. Do you know anything about zodiac signs? No, not really. Okay. I don't know too much about Aquarius, but I generally get along with them. Hey, I got some cool. <laughs> right, we are rolling. Okay. Now, so I want to talk about a few of the symbols that you have. Um, let's start with murdering. Um, what was it like dropping it? What was it like writing it, putting that song together? What is that song for you? That song like that, that was my first I was drill song. Okay. So when I first did it, I was doing it like like I'm talking to you right now. Mm -hmm. And my old producer, yo said, push that shit out. You know, he told me, you gotta sit with some aggression. Mm -hmm. He them too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You gotta sit with That's the drill vibe. Like yeah. make sure you come with that energy behind me. And when I did it, I ain't really lie. Normally, I don't listen to my own songs all the time. Mm -hmm. Like that, that, that. I was bumping that song nonstop. Mm -hmm. And when I put it out, like, that was a highly requested song for a lot of people I didn't know. Okay. And they, they wanted me to drop that song. But it took me a minute to drop it, for one, because of the pandemic. And for two, my camera was just always booked. It was booked yeah. in January. I don't know why it's going on. <laughs> but yeah, but when I finally put it out, yeah, but then I realized that sound ain't for me. Okay. Yeah. But that's, I'm glad that you got to explore it and then see for yourself like that wasn't me. What's, which one of your singles is your personal favorite? Uh, damn. <laughs> I ain't really lying to you. Is that what you performed when you um, performed in South Carolina? No, I performed Murder Line. Oh, okay. But they like that type of stuff. That yeah, ain't... yeah, that's their vibe. Yeah, that ain't me. Oh, man. That ain't me. Which one is probably your favorite music video? Was that dead into? Nah, Thug Story. Okay. That was my first video, mm -hmm. first first video I put out. Talk about that song. Now that right, I don't know recording that. Mm -hmm. That I was talk. I was trying to sing that song. I can't sing like that. <laughs> my, my voice got deeper. But mm -hmm. I was trying to sing that song, and uh, they the same thing told me about murder like. It to me to push it out. Mm -hmm. So when I did that day was crazy. I ain't gonna talk about that day. That day was so funny when I did that day, when I did that song. Mm -hmm. When I was doing it, it was like five, six people that came in the studio. And we were Chris, this little underrated. His crew came in the studio when I was doing the song. Mm -hmm. And that that whole vibe was crazy. Okay. Because it felt like I was performing. But I, I had my eyes, I my eyes closed. And you were saying you like, you usually like to be performing by yourself. Yeah. In the, well, in the studio by yourself. Yeah, but I did that in a hotel room. Gotcha. So, yeah, that was so, definitely a performance. But yeah. you know what I'm not. <laughs> but I had my eyes closed. That's on everything on the Yeah. Glass and you should. did it. When I shot the video, can't lie to you, I did it at the, uh, at the world they could have around white line. At the, uh, at the, at the laundromat. Mm hmm I was scared. Mm. Really, I was scared. Like, if you would have been there, the first couple shots, I was stiff. Dude, Judy, yo said, loosen up, yo. You <laughs> stiff. I remember. And uh, after that, it was cool. Mm -hmm. Kids got in the video, and mm -hmm. I seen that everybody was still in the song. So I said, Yeah, cool. everybody else was nice as well. Yeah, and then my mind came. Oh, he came at the wrong time, <laughs> but it, he was on beat. He was okay. on a little strut. I don't know if you seen the video or not, mm. but he was dancing and all that. That video was cool. That was, that was my first video. Okay, I gotta check that out. So you also have past life. Talk about that song and the video. How I was putting it together. The song. The, the, most of the parts in the song was real. Like, like, purge with me, you know what I'm saying? Because when I was younger, I was just basically just, just like me thinking about all the mm -hmm. dumb stuff I was doing when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I ain't never sold no drugs, but I always did stupid stuff. Like, I was real sneaky dumb. Mm -hmm. Like, I like I like doing dumb stuff. You just want to keep it at that. Okay, yeah. I always yeah. do dumb stuff with the people in my round of way. Yeah. So, I was, that was just a sign of me just reminiscing. But... It was also me saying like, 
it's a lot of stuff going on out here. Absolutely. And I got, yeah, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I feel like you do a good job, and, and I see it in all your songs, of being able to, it's, it's almost like you're writing an essay. Like, you know how in school they teach you, have your thesis, have your supporting stuff, and then conclude it. I feel like you do so good at say, giving an intro, giving the details, but then giving a conclusion at the end. Um, do you feel like, do you feel like there's a, a formula to how you write, or is, like, is, is this something you pay attention to, even? I was my favorite subject in school was always English. Mm-hmm. So I had I had like hundred in English. I had, I had eighty in English. Yeah. Me. But because all your singles, they the subject matter they're not too far off, mm-hmm. but they all different. Like you listen to one, you know that's one song. You listen to another one, you know that that's that is that song. Mm-hmm. I think you do a good job at. Um, you know, picking them out and making this one song about this one thing. One specific. Yeah. Stand on the uh, same topic throughout the whole Exactly. Time. Exactly. And you do a good job of that. Um, just from looking through your Instagram, I feel like Dancing with the Devil was very popular. No, I that came from promotion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? That's good. That came from that's good. I ain't gonna say it a lot. That's good. But then and then 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 this numbers. Mm-hmm. That's those. Mm-hmm. I, I was look. They got like eighteen hundred views now. Mm-hmm. That ain't a lot to some people. That's a lot to me. That's yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. That's a that's a raw eighteen hundred views. Absolutely. Like eighteen hundred people just looking at my video just because they want to hear the song. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Right. Um. <clears throat> music has. All these different components. You got writing, you got recording, you got the videos, promotion. Mm-hmm. What do you feel like is your favorite part and what is your least favorite part? My favorite part? Writing a song. Okay. I, I get writer's block a lot. Mm. But when I finally finish the song. You feel like, like oh. yeah, I feel like I accomplished something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the, my least favorite part, I don't really think I had no least favorite part. Mm-hmm. I like I like the whole process. I like writing the song, recording, shooting the video, mm-hmm. and putting it out. Maybe it's probably the putting it out part. Maybe it's the the song. Like me, I I have a feeling when I know a song not gonna do this many numbers as my last song mm-hmm. did. Like past, like I I had a feeling that song wasn't gonna do the numbers well. that my other songs. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's probably it. But I like the process. I like all of it. Mm-hmm. When you drop a song, not not when you finish writing it, when you actually put it out to the world, is do you feel like you kind of post and run, or do you or you you in it like you excited for it? You want to see what people got to say. You want to see the likes that you get and everything. I don't really try. To, I don't try to worry about it like yeah. that because then I get anxious. Like Yo, why people make looking at me? Mm-hmm. I, I, as soon as I get the video, I just put it out and just let it do. Just what let it. Do. That's it. That's all. If it don't do good, then it don't do good. Mm-hmm. But to some people, the song is hard. To some, mm-hmm. the song ain't hard. Because at the end of the day, they, a lot of people not going to like the music. Yeah. Yeah. What do, you, what do you feel like your end goal is with music? Do you feel like it's a big, like you got a real big goal? Do you feel like it's smaller things that you're trying to attack? Like... I'm just trying to get in your head about where you see this going and what you want for your music. Personally, I don't, really, I don't think ahead mm-hmm. that far ahead. So That's I was just, asking you, where do you see your music going? Like, you know, where your where's your goal at? And you mentioned that you feel like you don't look that far ahead. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't look that far ahead. But. I make music for myself. I want to. You feel me? If people okay. relate to it, they relate to it. But I don't think that far ahead because I can't control. I can't control the future. I can only control it now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. What do, What do your friends think about your music? They like it. Mm-hmm. I don't really send them all my songs though. Yeah. You just gonna have to wait till it drop. Mm-hmm. I send certain people like that's real, real close. close. To you. I, I send them the songs, but. I don't send everybody my songs. I used to. Don't get me wrong. I get a song. I send it to like 20, 30 people. Mm-hmm. And didn't care. 
But then they wouldn't come to the videos because they not really heard the song. Okay. Like, so I sent a song. Like, well, then that's a good, that's a strategy. Like, yeah, that's a good good idea. But I sent a, a song to like five people. Mm-hmm. That's about it. That's cool. Who? Do you, so you mentioned you tried drill. You tried these different sounds. What do you feel like is your sound? Do you feel like you found your sound yet? Yeah, I, I, I did. I got, mm. I got two on. Um, I got that my thug story and my uh my dad's with the devil sound, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I got my dead end sound. I like my dead end sound. Yeah, I got so many songs that I'm working on right now. My dead end sound. But, That's cool. Yeah. Per- perfect thing. It's summertime, but summer's starting to wrap up a little bit. It's, the end is coming faster than I hoped for, but. Do you have any music coming this year? Yeah, I'm ready to shoot a video in like two, three weeks. Okay. And once I get it, I'm dropping it. Mm-hmm. But that, that's a whole number. I, I'm lying. I got three songs <laughs> now. I just lied to you. I got three songs. The news, the like, it's something new. Something new that you, yeah. you're working on. Yeah, it's that's something cool. new. That's cool. So, like, as I mentioned, winter time is coming. When you aren't, you know, working at the rec center and... Um, doing music, what are you doing? I'm chilling. I ain't, I'm, not really, <laughs> I'm not really in the, uh, like, I go out, I pop out once in the blue room, mm-hmm. but I don't really like being singing like that. Okay. I don't, I don't, a true artist. I don't like being outside. Okay. Not everybody won't be outside. I don't want to be outside. Yeah, you I don't like outside. being a whole lot of people. Too many people outside. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot going on outside, too, as mm-hmm. far as health and all of that, so stay inside. <laughs> yeah, I, ain't, I ain't not going out there. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I go outside sometimes. I went outside last week. I had, I had a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. But you gotta do it every now and then, not yeah. too often. I ain't going out outside too expensive. Mm-hmm. I ain't going outside. It is expensive. Do you watch TV? Are you on YouTube a lot? Like I watch more YouTube than anything. Me too. It's TV for me now. Yeah. If I'm watching TV, I probably watch Naruto or something like that. Okay. Cool. Do you watch any other? Is that that's considered anime, right? Yeah, that's the only one I watch. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just, just Everybody told it. me it's so good. I just I can't. I'm I just getting into Naruto though. I ain't really like Naruto really yet. <laughs> I can't you, believe it. Naruto. Keep sleeping on Naruto. Naruto mm. was that. I'm just getting into anime though. Okay. I'm just starting to watch yeah, it. Yeah, my my god brother. We we live in the same house. He used to always watch it when we was a kid. Like I remember it would be. Something I wanted to watch, like, mm-hmm. before, and the 8 o'clock, Naruto would come on, and I'd be like, oh, my God, it's his turn for the TV. Yeah. It was only, it's only 20-minute episodes, though. But you follow that storyline, mm-hmm. I'm 20, you won't be hooked. Hmm. I might watch that. Well, thank you so much for stepping in the place to be. It Appreciate has you, been God. so fun, so great, a true pleasure. And keep going, you are... You know, doing amazing. As I mentioned before, when we was at the lot, like, it was like, no, he the one, like, <laughs> for sure. So, it was perfect. It worked out. Thanks. I appreciate you having me. Of course. And it's a wrap. <laughs> hey! <laughs> that was fire. That was it.